North Las Vegas teen shot and killed trying to chase down his family's stolen truck. Police are still looking for the suspect. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner spent the afternoon in the neighborhood where it all happened. Well, this was the scene last night, just 12 hours after the shooting. Today, that memorial grew and now there are flowers, candles and messages like rest in peace, Kevin. A quiet Sunday on Ferguson Avenue. I just stayed inside. Too quiet for some neighbors in this North Las Vegas community. I always see kids right here. They're always playing soccer right here and nobody wants to come out anymore. A small memorial is growing on the sidewalk in front of A.D. Gavira's house. This really doesn't happen around here like that. Crime scene tape still marks where police say this all unfolded. Police got the call around 7 Saturday morning. All you hear is the gunshots and uh, screaming. When they arrived, they found a 17 year old and his dad had been shot. And when I walked out, it was already it was already the dad holding the, the son. Many came out to remember Kevin Jimenez Saturday night. It was packed. Uh, they they covered the streets. Um, they were putting music and lights and uh, crying. I heard a lot of crying yesterday. Police say Jimenez and his dad chased the person who stole their family truck. When they tried to stop the thief, the thief shot them both before taking off and dumping their truck less than two miles away. I think I would have done the same thing. Just, you know, if somebody steals my vehicle, I'm going to go looking out for it, you know. I mean, I don't think it's anybody's fault, you know. It's just and they were looking for their property and they didn't think they were going to come out with a gun. Neighbors like 80 hope an arrest will bring some closure for Jimenez's family. I'm sorry for your loss. I, I hope they catch him and, you know, there's justice for all this, you know, because, I mean, uh, our father lost his son, you know, it's sad, especially in the holidays, you know. And at last check, Kevin's dad was listed as stable in the hospital. Right now, detectives are still investigating. If you know anything, contact North Las Vegas Police. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.